With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello, students. The question is: N pentane, isopentane, and neopentane are examples for isomers of the type. And your options are these: okay, geometrical, optical, chain, and positional. All right. So now, first of all, we should know what are isomers. Okay, what are isomers? Isomers are the compounds that contain exactly the same number of atoms, or you can say their molecular formula is same. Okay, isomers are those which have the same molecular formula, but they differ each other by the by by the way that they are arranged. Okay, by the way they are. okay way of arrangement you can say way of arrangement or you can say way of attachment way of arrangement so they differ in the in their way of arrangement of the atoms okay way of arrangement of atoms all right so now let's see our uh, let's draw their structure and then we'll see okay so first is n pentane so what is the structure of n pentane n pentane is a normal chain having five carbon atoms ch3 ch2 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 1 2 3 4 and 5 ch3 1 2 3 4 5 so this is your n pentane okay now next is isopentane isopentane is like this just put one of the one of the ch3s at any carbon here so it will be like this ch3 CH. Let's say I put it here. CH three, CH two, CH three. So this is our. So this is our isopentane. How many carbon atoms? One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. So this is our isopentane. Now the next structure is neopentane, right? So the structure of neopentane is like this. We have a carbon in between, and here CH three. CH three, CH three, CH three. So this is the structure of neopentane. All right. Now let's see all of their molecular formulas. So if you see the molecular formula of uh, this, you will get five carbons. That is C five. Uh, how many hydrogens? Six. Four. Uh, six plus four ten. Ten plus two twelve. Right, so C C five H twelve. Similarly, here also the molecular formula is what C five H twelve. Right, five carbon atoms: six, seven, eight, nine, and three. Nine plus three is twelve. So C five H twelve again. Similarly, here five carbon atoms. Right, one is here, four are here. C five, C five H. How many hydrogens? Three, 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 three. Four times. So so twelve. All right, so C five H twelve. Now, as you can see, that the structural uh, since their molecular formula is same, so that means they are isomers of each other. Right. Now we need to tell: Are all of these geometrical isomers? See, whenever we talk about geometrical isomerism, we always talk about the cis and trans configuration, or you can say E Z. Okay. So E Z or E Z, or you can say cis or trans. These, this is our geometrical isomers. Okay. These are. Uh, These are the stock. These are the confused, or you can say these are the isomers that are shown by geometrical isomerism. All right. So any compound having this kind of a structure, an alkene with this, okay, that means same group are attached on the same side, and same group are same groups are attached on the same side. Then they are known as cis. All right. And here, if you attach them opposite, like this A, and A, and B. And B, like B B are opposite A, opposite. Then it is known as trans, or you can this call is call this as Z, and you can call this as E. Okay, so thus here, if you see, so now E Z is basically on the basis of priorities. Okay, let's say E Z is like this. Okay, if you have a group like this A, B, B, but here a C, here let's say I'm taking D. Okay, another group, a new group, P is present. Another group P is present. So thus, now you cannot compare like cis and trans. So there it becomes now it depends on the priority. Uh, to which which one will get the priority? And the priorities if are on the first priorities are on the same side, then you'll according that you'll tell whether it is E or Z. Okay. So this is geometrical isomerism. Isomerism and it is it requires a double bond. Okay. It requires a double bond. And as you can see in all the above structures that I, I have drawn just now, 
they are they do not have any double bond so it cannot show geometrical isomerism right so your option a is incorrect now your second is optical see for optical isomerism what is necessary chiral center should be there chiral center should be there and what is a chiral center chiral center is a center which has which has all the four substituents attached to it different uh, which has all the four different substituents attached to it as as this carbon it has a b d and e all are different substituents i'm just taking an example okay a b d are not as such real groups i'm just taking an example so here if this carbon atom is attached to four different groups then that is known as a chiral center and it will show the optical activity and what do we mean by optical activity optical activity means they will be able to rotate the plane polarized plane polarized light either to the left or to the right direction okay so but as you can see here but for that main major condition is the chiral center should be there should be there that means all the substituents attached to one carbon should be different so if you see the find out the chiral center is there any chiral center you can see see three hydrogens are there two hydrogen two hydrogen two hydrogen three hydrogen so same groups are there that means this is not a uh, cannot this has no chiral center thus no optical activity if you see this then you see this has three hydrogen two hydrogen three hydrogen three hydrogen but if you see this carbon this carbon has one hydrogen one ch2 ch3 group but it has two methyl groups right ch3 and ch2 so these are same groups so thus it will also not show optical activity similarly neopentane ch3 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 a carbon has so these four carbons are will not be optically active because they all have three hydrogens same now this carbon has four methyl groups which are same again so no optical activity so thus they cannot show optical isomerism so this is incorrect as well now the next is chain isomerism see what is chain isomerism chain isomerism is the isomerism where the chain length differs okay chain length differs chain length of what chain length of our main parent chain differs okay why Uh, so it is it differs molecular formula will remain same but the chain length will differ of the main parent chain okay so if you see here if i start numbering like this 1 2 3 4 5 so here in a, this is our whole this whole chain is a main parent chain it has how many carbon atoms five carbon atoms right now if you see here we'll start the numbering like this 1 2 3 4 right 1 2 3 and 4 so how many carbon atoms this will be our main parent chain because this ch3 will come in substituent if you try to take this uh, ch3 then it will become like this 1 2 3 or if you number from this 1 2 3 4 then also you are getting another substituent if you consider this as a part of the main chain then this will become a substituent so thus in either ways if you try to number from this side or from this side you are still getting the four carbon atoms in the main parent chain only so chain length differed here five carbons were there here four carbons are here similarly if you see here so let's number like this 1 2 and 3 so here three carbon atoms are there in the main parent chain even if you number like this 1 2 3 you're still getting 3 1 2 3 again 3 1 2 3 again 3 right so thus only three carbon atoms are there in the main parent chain so as you can see chain length is differing five carbon atoms in the main parent chain four carbons and then three carbons in the main parent chain so what is differing chain length is differing right of the main parent chain chain length is differing of the main parent chain so thus c is your correct answer because these n pentane isopentane and neopentane can show chain isomerism okay so your next option is d that is positional so it will not show positional why because for positional we need different uh, we need a functional group where the position of the functional group is changing let's say if i take this example let's say if i take this Bro, uh, one bromo propane okay one two three this is a one bromo propane right so here this bromo group is attached to this carbon which is a primary carbon right why it is a primary because it is attached to directly attached to only one carbon atom that is this carbon right so this is a primary but if i draw the structure like this here br is here now so as you can see one two three now the br is at Uh, carbon number two, and here this carbon is what? This carbon is directly attached to two carbon atoms, so it is a secondary carbon, right? So the position, the attachment of the functional group changed. Okay, you can also put OH here, and then you put OH here. Okay, so that just depends. Uh, here the main the main thing is that position in the positional isomerism, what is changing? The position, the position of functional group is changing. 
okay this is changing but here as you can see in these three structures there is no functional group they are completely they are all alkanes right they are all alkanes there is no double uh, triple bond they are just simple saturated alkanes so thus it will not be it has no because it has no functional group thus it will not be able to show product it will not be able to show positional isomerism so this is incorrect your correct answer is chain isomer i hope you understood thank you so much for class 6 to 12 itg and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today